Let me show you something simple and a little bit magical. Just pick your camera and your footage suddenly looks cinematic. If you've ever tried to get the cinematic look and it never looked the way you imagined, this is for you. Let me show you how. Here's a pool scene captured with the Blackmagic Pixis camera in Log. It's a beautiful setting, it's a great camera, but nowhere near the cinematic vibe I had in mind. But watch this, I'll apply CineDream and instantly the image transforms. Not with a LUT, but with true ACES-based color conversion combined with CineDream's film foundation based on our experience of shooting real film. This is the moment most creators fall in love because you're instantly most of the way towards cinematic color. But before we go any further, here's how to apply CineDream in your editor. In Final Cut Pro, simply select all your clips, then double-click CineDream in the effects browser. Once applied, click the open controls button for a full screen grading environment instead of the tiny preview window you're used to. Now at any time, you can switch back to your editor using command tab to toggle back and forth. With CineDream, you don't need to export anything. There's no round tripping involved. You can just grade visually in a dedicated space alongside your editor and all your clips are in here. Then when you're happy with your grade, simply press command S to save or click apply and the grade is applied in your editor. Everything updates instantly. There's no LUTs to export, no baking in, it just works. All right, let's get you to your first win. So you'll first start in the develop panel. The first thing we wanna do is choose the correct input profile. We want this to match the log profile of your camera, whether it's Sony, Canon, Arri, RED, or DJI. Just choose the correct profile for your camera. In this case, for the Pixis, I'll choose Blackmagic Film, and boom! Now, if you don't have footage captured in log, just choose none or assume Rec. 709. Now, what's happening here is CineDream is doing two things. It's performing an ACES-based conversion to Rec. 709 and it's applying a film foundation in one step and the results are magical. Rather than just a technical transform that looks basic and vanilla, you're landing on something that looks genuinely cinematic as if you captured on film. Cineboss is the default film emulation and there are three other variants to choose from, each with different character. If the emulation is too strong, simply dial back the tone curve or film color intensity. Or toggle the emulation off for a simple Rec. 709 transform. You're in control. Now, if you find that the footage isn't working or it looks worse when you apply it, like in the case with this clip, it doesn't mean that CineDream isn't working, it just means that the shot needs a quick exposure and or white balance correction. So let me show you the bulletproof workflow I use every time and you're going to absolutely love this. Turn on the false color. Adjust the exposure until the skin is in the gray, green and pink zone. Tap the auto white balance button and or adjust it warmer or cooler by eye. And finally turn on the skin tone guide and adjust the tint control until the skin mostly looks yellow. In this case, it was leaning a little too magenta. And that's it. Let's take a look at the before and after using the keyboard shortcut B. This is a huge improvement and this workflow works every time and you can be rest assured you're getting accurate, perfect looking skin tones. Now for the fun part, click and grade. This is where you can grade visually in the viewer by clicking on the things that you want to change. I'll go back to the previous scene and I'll click on the thumbtack to pin the inspector panel open. Now, if you want to adjust the color of the pool, I'll just click on the pool with the HSL tool and refine the hue. Isn't that awesome? If you want warmer highlights, I'll click on the highlights with the color wheel tool and it automatically recognizes I'm working in the highlights and I can warm them up. And for the shadows, if I want to add more depth, I'll just click there with the curves tool and drag down and you'll see the change is added to the curves automatically. Doing it this way allows you to grade visually the way your eyes already think. This is where grading stops feeling technical and starts feeling creative. And with keyboard shortcuts, you can switch tools with your left hand parked on the keyboard while making changes with your right. Most people find they can grade faster this way than with a dedicated control surface. Now let's look at matching shots because it's one of the biggest challenges in color grading. There's really no good solution for this in most editors, but let me show you how CineDream handles it. You pick your hero shot, group other clips with it, then batch copy the correction from the hero to the other clips in the group. 
then cycle through the clips in the group and fine tune them in this side by side viewer with the hero shot we're matching to on the left. This is also much easier to do when aided by the scopes which correspond to the images above them. Then when you move to the final grading page to apply a look, the same look gets applied to all the clips in the group without using an adjustment layer. Doing it this way, your scenes stay consistent and you can finish realistically five to 10 times faster than using the traditional approach. Now let's shape the mood. Here in the final grading page, you can choose from over a hundred different cinematic looks. There are Kodak and Fuji film stocks, stylized color palettes, and looks from iconic movies. And you can import third-party LUTs to use inside CineDream. I'll choose the 500T for this clip because I really like the split toning it adds. All right, and we can fine tune this in a way that's not possible with any other tool. CineDream allows you to separate the color and contrast of LUTs so you can fine tune the elements separately. This allows you to really dial in the look of a LUT instead of being limited to a single mix control. We can even stack multiple LUTs together and blend them in different ways using these controls, i.e. we can take the contrast from one and mix it with the color of another. This is where you can begin developing your own visual style instead of presets that never match what you had in mind. All right, let's finally add some finishing touches with analog film behaviors that you don't get inside Final Cut. We'll add some density to the skin tones for that film-like richness. This adds subtractive saturation for that beautiful cinematic depth. Then turn on Bloom for soft, dreamy highlights like shooting with a Promis filter. Only this is something that's adjustable. Then apply Halation for true film glow around high contrast edges. And finally add Film Grain for that organic texture that ties everything together. Now let's look at the final results. Look at that transformation. It's clean, consistent, cinematic, and done in just a few minutes. And unlike most plugins, even with these film effects applied, everything plays back smoothly in real time thanks to GPU acceleration. CineDream is designed to help creators of all levels get results they can feel proud of, create work that they're excited to share, and finally get the cinematic look that gets noticed, all without the complexity and it's so fun to use. Now it's your turn. Open up one of your clips, apply CineDream, and experience the magic for yourself. Your cinematic look starts today, and I can't wait to see what you create.